So hi again uh, and thanks for watching this video. So in this recording we'll be solving exercise related to DAC. So uh, you can check uh, the link for these questions on the description of this video. And again do not forget to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell icon to receive all the notification so we have a DAC so a DAC is the structure that allows both deletion as well as insertion of elements to be done at both ends of Q so they are asking us to consider the following code so it's 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 a normal Q however they uh, they ask us to implement the following operations uh, delete rear and delete front so however uh, we will implement all uh, the functions in order to see it running. So let's see uh, what's the deck. So deck. So we have a queue. This is a normal queue, and we know that the queue has a front here and a rear here. So elements are enqueued from the rear, and they are uh, dequeued from the front. However, in the deck, uh, we can add from the front, remove from the front, and add from rear and remove from rear. So. We are asked to do a, a linked list implementation, so a dynamic implementation. So a DAC, so it's like a queue. So we have, so let me move. So a DAC, it's a struct which contains two pointers. One is called front, and the other is called the rear. So so when it's empty, so both pointers will point to null. So let's see what happens when we want to uh, enqueue. Uh, either on in the front or in the rear. So here we have front and we have rear. Let's say that we want to uh, enqueue from the front, so we need to create a cell. So the cell will uh, place the element and next would be equal uh, to null. So what we'll do is that if the front is equal to null, it means that there's no elements in uh, the deck. So front will point to this element and the rear will point to this element. In the case where uh, uh, front and uh, front uh, points already to uh, an element so and we create here a new element and I need to link it to all this so what I should do is that in this cell I will link it to the F uh, uh, linked list and then I'll modify this pointer this is for enqueuing from the front how about enqueuing from the uh, uh, rear. So, again, uh, two cases. If I want to enqueue from the rear and the front is equal to null, it means there is no element in the uh, queue, so I will uh, point both front and rear to the queue. So, before continuing, so to check whether a queue is empty, we just check if the front pointer is null or not. So, and if the uh, rear is already pointing to a cell, Well, let's say this is enough and here we have none so we have created a new cell we have put this, the new element so now we should link so the rear it points to this cell it will point to uh, so this the rear arrow next it will point to the new cell and this one the rear would point to the newest created cell so those are, are very easy just a manipulation of pointers there is nothing to uh, carry a lot about so let's see about deleting the front element. So again, we have the front and the rear here. We have uh, a cell. So if we don't have, a, if the uh, deck is empty, so uh, this is not uh, very uh, interesting. So we just check if the deck is empty or not. So let's say we have elements here. Hmm? And we have F pointing to the first and R to the last. And we need to delete the front element. So whenever we need to delete the front element, we take uh, an auxiliary pointer here, we move F to the next cell, and then we free this. So if uh, the front is pointing to null, it means that there is no cells, and so R should point to null. So we already already uh, use that in the implementation of uh, uh, Q. So what about deleting the rear? So we have here, again, the deck, front, rear, a linked list. So if the list is empty, it means there is no front, there is no rear, it's not uh, uh, that big deal. However, I want to delete this node. So in order to delete this node, as you know, we need to traverse uh, 
until the end of uh, the list. So while traversing, we need to reach the node before the last one. So like the PR on X. So I need to check that the next one is different than, so I need to move as long as this arrow points to a cell different than this one. So I will reach here. I will have the next is equal to uh, the cell which is pointing by R and this one. So I'll stop. I'll uh, take an auxiliary pointer here. I will link this to the before last element and then free this one. How about to check the front element? So the front is the element pointed by the front. The rear is the element pointed by rear. And if I want to delete all the queue, so I need to take an auxiliary pointer here and delete each node at a time. So this is it. Let's move and uh, implement all this. So in this implementation, uh, we have a declaration of a linked list. So it contains an element and a pointer to the next cell. As for the type def for deck, it contains two pointer, one called front and one called rear. So let's start in, in order to create a deck. So we declare a deck and we initialize both front and real element to none and then we return d so this is easy this is for uh, creation of a uh, deck how to check if the uh, deck is empty so we just check if the front uh, pointer is equal to none how about in queue let's do this first in queue front so in order to enqueue in front, we need to uh, create a cell, check if we can create a cell. So let's start that. So in the cell here, I didn't uh, put a type depth, so we need to use struct cell. So we just changed a bit from the core. So struct cell, let's call it temporary. And let's try to uh, create the cell. So here we put the pointer, so struct cell star, and then malloc size of cell without a star then here we check if temp is equal to null it means if not temp I will return a zero it means that I cannot add an element if I can add let's fill this uh, struct so temp arrow data is equal to the item which is passed by parameter and the next is equal next is equal to null for now so here we need to check if it's empty. So if the arrow uh, front is equal equal to none, it means that the queue is empty. So both pointers will point to uh, the same uh, newly created cell. So the arrow front equal the arrow rear equal uh, temp. Otherwise, what should we do? So else. We say that the temp arrow next would be equal to the arrow front and the arrow front is equal to temporary. And of course, we should return one at the end. Now let's uh, do the rear one. So it's a bit similar. Let me copy paste and just change a bit from the code. So again, we need to create a cell. We need to check if we can create it. We should fill the element. And again, if the front element is null. However, here, so we need to add the temporary element. We will keep. So this one, it's always true, if even if front or rear element is equal to that. So let me remove, remove this. So if the arrow front equal to null, I will uh, say the arrow front equal to temp. Otherwise. I will say D arrow rear, so let's uh, erase this. So D arrow rear would be equal, and arrow next would be equal to temporary. So if it's empty, so both uh, pointers will point to the same cell. Otherwise, since I'm enqueuing in the rear, I will, as I've said, I will first modify the last cell of the linked list to point to the newest uh, temporary and then I will modify the rear. So I cannot do it like this here. So this one should came after this operation. So 
Uh, what about deleting the front? So in order to delete a front, I need to uh, check if the uh, deck is empty. So if it's empty, it means that I cannot uh, DQ. So I will return a zero. So I need here a temporary cell. So I will copy it from here since I will need to free one of the cells. And then let's see. So I need to uh, delete the front. So I should uh, place the pointer on the front element. So it's D arrow front. And then I will move the pointer of the arrow front to the next cell. So it's equal to temporary or the arrow front arrow next. To temporary arrow next. Now I can free the temporary and then I need to check if uh, front is pointing to null. So if the temporary is equal to null, which is equal to the arrow front here, if equal equal to null, it means that the uh, list is now empty, the deck is empty, so the arrow rear should point also to null. And I think rear is small letter, okay, is equal to null and again I will return 1 so this is for delete front uh, let's keep a bit delete rear because it's a bit uh, we need to traverse a list let's do the front and the rear so in order to check the front there's the the, the um, deck should be not empty so if it's empty I will return 0 Otherwise, I will put in a D reference E the first element which is pointed by rear, so D dot rear arrow arrow data, and I will return one. So the same is for uh, oh, here is front, so it's front, and for the rear one, it's the same code. However, I will take the pointer of rear. For the read element. So here there's I've already wrote the function display because for the test that I will do in a while. For delete, uh, it's for deleting all uh, the linked list. Uh, I will not do it, will not use it in the uh, test. So you can try to write a function to delete a list, it's very easy. So let's uh, come back and see how we can write delete here. So again, if the deck is empty, I will return a zero. Of course, I will need a temporary struct because I will free one of the cell, the rear cell, if it's there. So, again, let's take a special case. If there's just one cell, if the arrow front equal equal to the arrow rear, it means there's just one cell. So what I will do is that I will free uh, the cell because there's just one cell. There's no need to go to the next. And then I will uh, modify both pointer d arrow front, which is will be equal to d arrow rear and equal to null. And of course I will return one. So in all cases I will return one. So there's no need here. Okay, return one. Or I can say else. So here it means that uh, there's more than one cell. So I need to traverse the list. So I will take a pointer which is equal to p equal uh, d arrow front so here we have tan it's equal to d arrow front and then we will move with this temporary uh, pointer so as long as the next element of this temporary is different than d arrow rear so it's different they, they don't point to the same cell I will move with the temporary pointer so when I'm reaching, when I'm out of the loop, it means that temp arrow next is equal to the arrow read. So they point to the same cell. So I'll free the next one or I can free the arrow rear. It's the same. So either temp arrow next or the arrow rear. And then I will say that temporary arrow next, it will equal to, to null. And then the rear elements would point to the temporary cell and of course I will return one so this is for the codes not that difficult if you know how to traverse the list it's uh, uh, very easy and if you know how to delete the last element of a list again it's all again easy so what in the test uh, we will do so we'll create a DAC 
and we will enqueue in the front and in the rear and then we'll display uh, the deck and then we'll delete a front and rear again display the deck so in display the function display so we'll start, uh, we'll start by printing on the screen front and then as long as the uh, list is uh, not null I will uh, check uh, the next element if the next element is not null I will just print the data in the cell and I will move to the next cell when the uh, uh, the next is equal to null, it means that uh, in the last element, in the last cell of the linked list, I will print the element and a rear here just to say that we have ended the list. So let's run this program and see if we have some errors. So yes, and here return. We have error in the return. And what else? So. So we have a for loop, so we have enqueued one and one, one from the front, one from the rear, then two, three, four, five, six, so till we have reached nine. And then we have deleted one from the front, one from the rear, till we have ended with an empty uh, deck. So this is for this exercise. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to send to me, and I will try to answer you back. And uh, do not forget to work the other exercises, and thanks for watching.